Hi there you guys, um, now it's too American, what am I doing? Uh, hello, this is John Neal, chalkboard artist and sign writer coming to you from England. Coming at you, coming at you, coming at you from England. Right, there's something that I need to tell you about tea. Now. There are ways and ways of drinking tea, serving tea, and um, the way, well let's just put it this way, you get a tea bag or tea or whatever and you boil in water on the tea bag, take the tea bag out after a while and then put some milk in and you serve it in a solid cup or mug like this with a handle. Do I have to say with a handle? What else? I mean, it's, it's full of boiling liquid, and I've seen it um, served in in glasses, a glass, um, a glass without a handle, mm. and no milk. Are these people insane? 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 Hello, a chalkboard artist and sign writer. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, today I'm going to do another project on uh, canvas, that is uh, calligraphy on canvas. Uh, the last one I did was on dark blue, this one's going to be uh, more of an orangey thing. Um, first of all though, let me just have a look at some of the comments. Thank you very much for these on some of my other videos. Busa Jones, if it ends in an A I think it could be a lady. Anyway, it's a, I see a lot of people suggesting you shouldn't rest your wrist and should be writing from your whole arm. Okay. Uh, I'm having no luck with this at, at all and becoming incredibly frustrated. Well, Busa, we don't want you incredibly frustrated, so let's have a think. If you hold a pen or a brush or whatever, I'll use this for now, very, very tight up with your fingers, then you tend to get a cramped, bad style. For handwriting and the work I'm doing now with letters only about this big, I suggest you hold it lightly in your hand and you move mostly from the wrist. Now, if you're doing a big window, quite large letters, whatever, then indeed I'll probably hold the wrist firm and then move from the elbow. So it's the whole arm moving like this. And that way you can get the rhythm that you want, either this size or this size, but not usually this size. It doesn't work. It's a combination really of finger movement and wrist. Anyway, hope that helps. Fingers, wrist, elbow. And Clark O'Donnell. I've got a feeling Clark, it sounds like Clark Gable, it sounds a bit uh, American. And, uh, ah, Mr. Neil. <laughs> Thank you very much. Don't call me, no, don't call me that. Lord will do. No, John's fine. Can you recommend a certain type of paper or stationery that you enjoy using? Also, is there anything special about the paper that you use in this video. It isn't simply printed paper, I assume. You assume wrongly, sir, Mrs. Clark. Yeah, wrong. It is just regular print paper. It, it's, I never buy the very cheapest, but it's just regular print paper, that's all it is. Print paper. Okay, right, the, oh, uh, the project I'm going to do is on canvas, and I've got some more of the canvas here. You remember I ripped some last time. So this is the stuff, quite durable. I've used calico before now, and it's a bit thin to be honest, sometimes good, but uh, this is okay. And uh, again, I've prepared a piece, I've painted this one orange. And um, uh, yeah, I w we're very fortunate in that we've got a number of uh, cloth shops, people that sell cloths, uh, mainly Asian folk down in uh, Coventry, I go down there, and there's some fantastic shops with all sorts of cloths and things. And this. Uh, was uh, £25 for quite a big piece. Uh, meet my brother. When I say brother, of course. Oh, and there's a project in itself. Was the brother and sister. Mum. And guess what? Dad. Just for the hell of it. <clears throat> uh, but that's a, a canvas cover for my sewing machine. And this is um, a brother... BC2100 computer 
Uh, it was uh, listed in um, on the internet as being one of the best. It's about £125. Um, that's money. So what's that about? $270 or more. And it's very, very good. It served me extremely well. Very easy to use. And uh, I use that to trim and tidy up all the bits and pieces I'm using. So, the piece of canvas I'm going to use is this one. And uh, somebody congratulated me last time for getting the work in the middle and right towards the end. There are some tricks. One, I used some paper to do it on first. And with this piece I'm going to use, um, this is the text I'm going to use. It's from the Hidden Words. And what I've done is put it on a computer and I've made it quite large, so it's about the sort of size I'm going to paint it. Uh, that's the calligraphy. So if I can get that on the first line, so much the better. And I've even centered it this time, which is an extra tricky bit. So, and I'm going to try not put it straight, by the way. I'm going to make it slightly curved. I've done this downstairs and um, on another piece, and I quite like it. So I'm going to make it slightly curved. I'm not going to stick to lines. So don't worry about any lines on it. If, by chance, I were to run out of space, well, I've prepared the top edge here, which I will sew and then put a stick through it so it hangs uh, with some string. And, but as I work down the, the canvas, uh, when I get to the very bottom of the canvas, um, I, I've left it free, so I'll stop short of that and then just fold it accordingly. Um, so it looks like I've just got to the bottom of the, the canvas, but probably I'll stop short and just fold it under, then it looks good. So that is all ready to go. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yes, of course, uh, Please go to my website. We've got the um, uh, the videos that I've got for sale, have both uh, handwriting and um, chalkboard. Two chalkboard artwork videos you can buy for ten dollars a pop, <coughs> and um, they're selling quite well. And please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel as well. Four thousand seven hundred and three followers. Hey, I'm going to get five thousand soon. I know the people have got fifty thousand stuff like that, but I'm thrilled with this. 4,700 and and that's today 14th of August 2015 and what else yeah Facebook page I've got a chalkboard Facebook page so you can go to that and also you can subscribe yes to the channel and um, if you follow me on Facebook you know you want to share some of the stuff maybe some of the videos um, that'd be absolutely fantastic I'd love to share. And do write some more comments on the various videos and if there's answers I can give. If they're any good, <laughs> so much the better. Right, okay, let's set up and um, let's see if we can put that calligraphy onto this canvas. Okay. Okay, first in preparation, this is the uh, board, the colour I'm going to use, this um, this is orange and yellow and red, um, sort of streaky, sort of nice paint. So this will go red, but it's got a lot, lot of red in it. Yeah, I could use blue or black, I suppose, but that would not necessarily be harmonious with this background colour. So I think this brown will be fine. To start, let me just give this a good shake. And that's a good reason to put the paper down in case any splots, splodges come down. Or um, There's always a bit in there. But let me just milk some of this into there and put that carefully to one side. And then on this bit of paper, which is more or less the same size, I can have a practice. Um, so keep my wrist fairly stiff and using my arm to just slide up and down to get the, the straight lines. And it's that straight line which we're going for. Now, the R, I might decide how big I'm going to do it, but I've got to do them all the same. So I'm going to do this. And likewise with the S, I've got to decide what I'm going to do. So Now then, looking back on this, my first counsel is this. So I've got to put, is this to fit on? Of course, I'm going to start this further over. 
So I think, oh that's quite blobby too, so let's be careful and let's spell it correctly. The E is another one to get uh, consistent. Um, obviously that's the start of the letter E, so I think what we need to do now is just maybe do that. Is this, is, if I do it that way, I think if that all moves over a bit, then that will be good. And I did suggest I'm going to, rather than have it try and get it dead straight, I'm going to make it on a bit of a curve. And so have it a little bit more, oh, missed the N out. <laughs> um, so that's the rough idea. This practice gets the pen, the paint moving, the brush moving, and I think it adds a little bit of, um, gives you a bit of confidence to know what you're doing. Because once you're on this, there's no going back. So just to show you what I've got off screen, the ink and uh, a, a bit of tissue paper just to uh, dab in as I go. Because that can be very full and if we just take a piece off. Right, Ocean of Spirit and a bit of a curve. Here we go. I thought my dreams had all come true, but that was my first mistake. You played me like a fish on a line, you pulled the strings of my heart. You did my head in day by day, I wish we were apart. I said I had to leave, to go would be for the best. But you just took your claws in deep, I didn't know what was next. I told you clearly to your face, as we walked down by the lake. I turned away, you pushed me in, that was my last mistake. Play me like a fish on a line You pulled the strings of my heart You dip my head in day by day I wish we were apart Right, I'm just going to switch this calligraphy pen for the last part, put Bahala across here. Oh, get all the bits off me. Well, here's the finished article. And uh, I've put some extra white highlights on because uh, I think it needed a bit of extra sparkle. And uh, 
that's all very good. Uh, right, um, thank you very much for watching and do uh, pass any comments on and uh, don't forget to subscribe, website, Facebook, all those things and uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.